So here's the thing. I've once again decided I'm doing 75 hard. Hey, my name's Jen. Welcome to this video. Thanks so much for clicking on it. If you're not familiar with my background on YouTube, I have posted a lot of content around trying to lose weight. And truthfully, it's been something I've struggled with for a really long time. I'll pick up habits and then get rid of them. I feel like it's something I've always done. I am not reliable to myself and my goals. And I've tried challenges like 75 hard in the past. I have been able to do easier versions of them, but not truly do 75 hard. In fact, if you look on my channel, my most viewed video to date is my failed attempt at 75 hard, which truthfully has always bothered me just a little bit. I tried it about two years ago and I made it 38 days before having a complete breakdown. I am currently sitting on my floor of my apartment. I just got off the phone with my mom. Yes, I'm crying. <laughs> it's day 38 of the 75 hard challenge and it's 8 30 have not done my outdoor workout have not done my other workout have not read and honestly like i was was just sitting on my couch after i got home from work and the hours just kept passing by and i was getting like such anxiety around the fact that i haven't done my workouts yet i mean i have an hour and a half commute to work um because I moved and I just, I can't do it. I know I'm a quitter, whatever. I'm just so, so exhausted. I can't do it. It was terrible. And I didn't think I would really ever go back to trying to do 75 hard specifically, but two years later, I don't have a ton to show for my progress in that time. I've always really struggled with my body image. I've lost a lot of weight in the past. I've gained a lot of weight in the past. And I have done 75 soft successfully, but let's be honest, it's not the same. I wanna really focus on building these better habits and truly being accountable to myself. And at the end of the day, I wanna know that I can really set my mind to something and accomplish it. So recently, I decided I wanted to give up alcohol. It is holding me back from a lot of the goals I wanna accomplish. And when I hit day 38, I thought to myself, 38 days is how long I made it the first time I tried 75 hard. And then my next thought was, I should try 75 hard again. So here I am as I'm recording this video to let you guys know I am currently doing it again. Today is actually day five. I am feeling great. It is the Labor Day weekend. So it was a good start to have a three day weekend to really build on these habits and get into the flow of things again. If you're not familiar with the rules of 75 hard, I'll include a video below that has the rules of both 75 hard and 75 soft. But just to give you the quick version, there's five main things you have to do every day. One, you have to follow a diet. You get to set this diet yourself and it's based off of your current health goals. So my goal is to lose weight. So the diet I'm following is I need to stay below recommended calories that would have me losing one pound a week. So this calorie amount does change. Right now it's like 2,400 calories a day. I am a bigger person. I, I have a lot of weight on me that I could lose. So right now with two workouts a day, if I'm under 2,400 calories, I'm still gonna be losing a pound a week. And then you can't have any cheat meals, any cheat items, you can't have alcohol, which won't be a problem for me. I'm also not gonna have any pop, chips, candy, dessert, fries, stuff like that. And number two is you have to complete two 45 minute workouts, one has to be outside. They could both be outside if you want them. You get to pick what the workouts are. So you could do two 45 minute walks and they are supposed to be at least three hours apart. Now, this is something I actually didn't know about because if you look at some of Andy Frisella's uh, like videos and content and podcasts that he ha has out, he's the creator of 75 Hard, this isn't mentioned in all of them. Um, so they are technically supposed to be over three hours apart which is something I didn't even know the first time to the challenge. So I guess maybe I didn't even really do 38 days. Number three is to drink a gallon of water a day. 
pure water, nothing added to it, nothing like that. Number four is to take a daily progress photo. And number five is to read at least 10 pages of a nonfiction or self-help type book. And you get to choose the book. It just has to be paper form. It can't be an audio book. Let's talk about how I'm setting myself up for success this time around versus what I did last time. I need to make things as simple on myself as possible. If you make things simpler, it's gonna be easier to follow them. So I'm trying to build a routine that makes it so I don't really have to think about these different tasks. As of now, my routine and what I've been following is I'm waking up in the morning, I'm getting my reading out of the way right in the morning. I wanna have it done. I used to read at the end of the day when I last did this challenge and I just feel like I would get so tired by the end of the day reading sounded terrible like it was such a drag on me so i'm starting my day by reading boom you've already got one of five things checked off a morning walk outside is also something i'm doing the outdoor workout can be tough because of weather and the way weather changes so as of right now it's september i'm in the midwest a morning walk is working i'm gonna try to do it as long as i can i'm gonna be finishing this in november so by then it could be very cold but we're just gonna try to keep pushing through with this schedule. The water, I have a Yeti water bottle I really like to use. It is 35 ounces, so four of them is actually more than the gallon you need, but I have just been putting a little piece of tape on the top of my water bottle and doing a dash so I know what water I'm on. I'm on number one, I'm on number two, I'm on number three, and then number four. After I finish my fourth, take off the tape, throw it away, boom, I've hit my water goal. I'm trying to take the picture usually around my walking workout because I wanna do it in form-fitting clothing, clothing to really see the change for myself. And then when it comes to eating healthy and following a diet, each meal, as I'm making the meal, I have been eating 100% at home so far. I mean, that of course could change, but each meal I'm eating, I'm keeping track of the calories for that meal so I know Okay, breakfast was 450. I have about uh, 1900 left for the day. I have been way under my calorie goals every day so far. So I'm not as worried with that one, but I'm just still trying to make sure I'm always keeping a note of it. And then lastly, in my notes app on my phone, I have each day and I'm writing in when I've accomplished something. So I have day five, 45 minute workout check. And I'm putting each of these things in so I can constantly be checking throughout the day and look back on the progress. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. I'm very, very excited and I feel good about this. I know it did not go well last time, but I'm just trying to remind myself at the beginning, this high that I'm on and this passion and excitement that I'm feeling, I need to ride the wave as long as I have it because it can come and go so easily. I do wanna be keeping track of my journey as, as well and posting this on YouTube. I wanna hold myself accountable. I don't want to keep coming on here and being like, I'm trying to lose the same 10 pounds over and over again, which I feel like I've been stuck doing. The giving up alcohol thing has really given me a new passion and excitement to feel like I can really accomplish things I set my mind to. And I'm just trying to continue that with 75 hard as well. I've already lost a few pounds. I mean, that always happens right at the beginning when I try something. I feel like I fluctuate so dramatically, but I'm excited to see where I'm going to be towards the end of this challenge. And most importantly, where I'll be beyond this challenge as well, because the eating habits are something I really need to focus more on and watch and not drinking not only alcohol, but pop and having all these desserts and everything like that. So I'm very excited to see what will happen. If you guys want to follow along my journey, please consider hitting the subscribe button. If you want to see weekly vlogs, let me know. I've taken some vlog content, but I'm still kind of undecided of if I want to do a weekly vlog with this challenge as well. But I hope you guys consider staying around and I look forward to having some more positive updates in the future. Thanks so much for watching this video. See you guys soon. Bye.